Hey Hammer, this is going to be a response to your, uh, oh gosh, your nationalism uh, video. Uh, essentially your, your video about uh, loyalty and being a part of groups. Um, and I, I say like, here's, I mean, here's what I care about. Um, as far as like thinking about what you're loyal to rather than just responding to reacting to what you're loyal to. Someone says, we're fighting for freedom. You're like, I'm all about freedom. Let's fight for it. Um, you know, that's, that's an excellent reaction. And that'd feel good. I mean, there'd be a lot, you'd be a part of a group of people that felt really good about, uh, you know, fighting for freedom or supporting people who fight for freedom. Um, because it's an awesome bumper sticker. It's good to have that on your t-shirt. Um, like, I think that that's, a, that's an excellent reaction to have. But I think that, like, if I think about it, like, what, what do I believe in? What, do I, what would I fight for? Uh, what would I sacrifice my time? If I was going to protest something and get arrested, uh, what would I protest? Um, so I'd ask you that. Like, like I get, I get your, your confusion and frustration and your anger. Um, but I would say, uh, well, then... Um, what would you give your life for? Uh, what's what? Where? What are you loyal to? Um, what would you? What would be your first arrest? What would you protest, and have that be your first arrest, uh, hammered? Um, and I actually, I, I could talk about. I could respond more accurately to your video, except I don't. I don't feel that way anymore. I mean, because the thing is, the reason why I thought I had something to say, well, I knew I had something to say to that video, is because I used to feel. Uh, as strongly and I would have worded it almost the same way as you did um, about uh, you know patriotism or uh, um, f like being a part of a group because some of the words get in your mind um, you know so, so, like some of these catchphrases sound so great in your head that you're like I want to be a part of that group like this I want to worship flowers with you know with the rest of the group because man they have they have some great lines um, or uh, you worship flowers and get disillusioned, and then you're like, oh, I want to, I want, I'm joining the anti-flower group. Um, like, I used to wonder about that. I used to get frustrated about that, and now I just don't really care so much because it seems to me that like, either reacting to things or thinking about things, I want to be a part of this. I want to be loyal to that. Um, this seems like me. I want to find me. I want to define me. And I'm either going to react to something around me that helps me define me, or I'm going to think about how will I be defined and then pursue that. And, uh, you know, I used to get, like, curious or angry or frustrated. I'm um, like, uh, well, I used to, used to be the head of the SpongeBob SquarePants Club, which I didn't understand. And now you're a part of a group that wants to get people not to be into Spongebob. Like, really, that's how you're spending your time? <laughs> Except now I'd be like, oh, right on, man. Do you have, do you have anti-Spongebob t-shirts? Because I, I could buy one. <laughs> Actually, if you still have your old Spongebob uh, t-shirts uh, um, you could, and you hate him, you could, can I have those for free? Because I want to have, like, I want to have, like, a t-shirt that I have anti SpongeBob on the front and pro SpongeBob on the back or uh, I want to make a blanket out of all your SpongeBob t-shirts because um, I'm into creating things I'm into uh, crafting let's say uh, expressing myself through uh, sewing together other people's junk um, yeah I don't I don't I just don't care as much I mean I, I care about the things that I've thought about and I'm sure I care about some of the things that I've just reacted to and I still haven't reassessed whether it's still important in my life. Um, which is an excellent uh, Buddhist exercise. Um, that you, you, uh, you, you take something that you feel... I, I, I feel sure this is true. Um, I, lo I still I love sunlight. And then you think, now is it really true? And why do I love sunlight? And is there any reason not to love sunlight at this point in time? And you're like, and then you just kind of work it out. Like, I'll just work it out in my head. You ready to go, bud? Come on, buddy. Let's go. So, uh, which I think is a, a fantastic thing to do. A, um, try not to give too much of a damn about uh, uh, where some people or a large amount of people get, uh, where their loyalties get uh, adhered to. Um, 
and then B, like just kind of always reassessing your own loyalties and uh, um, you know what you're into and what you'd sacrifice for, um, where you where you get your pleasure, and even actually where you get your anger. Um, asking yourself, not just do I love sunlight, but does does this thing, this idea, or this group, or this whatever, still make me mad? You know, do I still am I still angry about that? You know, I don't think I am. You know, I think that, you know, that being loyal to a reaction is a little silly. Like, well, I, I want to, like, I always want to be angry about this because I remember when it was so important that I was angry about it. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be loyal to my feeling. You'd be, like, loyal to the memory, but you don't necessarily have to feel that way anymore. I think, I guess that's where, like, like, the multifacets of forgiveness, um, there might, there are, or maybe, maybe it'd be actually just closure. There'd be like things that you used to believe in and don't anymore, and you're like, are, are, are that new things that you want to believe in, and uh, so your loyalties could be uh, fluid and uh, and responsive, which doesn't necessarily make you know like you know make you fickle or uh, um, you know whichever way the wind blows. I think it just makes you more in tune with uh, kind of whittling away until you get right down to the bone of things, the bone of who you are. Um, and, I mean, and, and the less, uh, the less that's going on, um, the better able you are to, to focus and understand. Like, you know, the, the, the more I go over uh, who I am as a person and think, do I still believe in that? Am I still loyal to that? Uh, and these things start to fall away. It's like, no, that's, I'm not so concerned with that anymore. Uh, for instance, I used to be I used to be really concerned uh, about uh, why people were into professional sports, and uh, I've actually I've read some things on it as well, like you know the, the kind of cult nature of it. Um, and I used to be like, just wow, that's so fascinating to me. And I'd even want to talk to people about it, but now I just want to be like, I'm happy your team won, or better luck next year. Like now I'm not so now I'm not so concerned with their passion for sports. I'm like, just kind of happy that they're happy. Um, and if they're not, if they believe in something that's making them angry all the time, um, then I hope that they do the, uh, that, that Buddhist exercise and say like, is this, is this really still making me angry or am I just sticking to, you know, the loyalty to that emotion? Like, every time this comes up, I'm going to have an angry reaction about it because... You know, I decided to, or I reacted that way, and uh, and now I'm kind of stuck with that, even though we don't need to be. All right, Hammer. It was excellent talking to you. It's always excellent seeing the tubes. Thanks for coming out on the dog walk with me.